Dear listeners of Radio Maria in New York, the following program features Mike Salvatorelli. Welcome. Oh, we're back on Faith Alive. Uh, Mike Salvatorelli, your host here on Radio Maria. And right now we're going to head towards and shift gears as we uh, get into the pro-life movement once again with an update from our very own Gia Villariello, who's uh, part of the St. Benedict's uh, Parish in the Bronx of the uh, Respect for Life uh, Respect Life Club. Uh, Gia, uh, could you give us some uh, update of what's going on in the pro-life movement as we speak? Yes. Well, anyway, uh, thanks again for having me on. Um, in regards to the pro-life movement, there have been some great, um, wonderful um, things that have happened all over the country. Uh, a few months ago, many people must remember that Congress was about to be shut down, and it was all based because of the disagreements in the defunding of Planned Parenthood. Now, the, a lot of people don't realize is that Planned Parenthood receives um, mil, like about a billion dollars, millions of dollars of taxpayers' money, um, and and it's all being funded. You know, like they receive, they're like a one billion dollar, two three billion dollar corporation, and unfortunately, they're profiting on, um, you know, like low income women. You know, and they're just. It's just it's just a major major problem. So a lot of people have been coming up, rising and saying they don't want their tax money to go and benefit something that they don't believe in. Um, so unfortunately, uh, it, it didn't end up going anywhere. Planned Parenthood is still going to be getting taxpayers' money from our federal government. Um, but what's great about this is that the states have now decided to take up arms, and we have seen so much progress. In the last couple of weeks, um, three states, Indiana, Kansas, and including North Carolina, have decided to strip Planned Parenthood of of taxpayer funding. And um, in North Carolina, it is estimated to be $434,000. So that's a great, wonderful um thing that's that's going on that, that is marvelous that's great and anything else going on besides the the fact that they've been basically cut off at the knees in those states i'm sorry can you say that again i said it, what else is going on in the movement besides the fact that uh, planned parenthood has been cut off at the knees in those states that you mentioned um another thing that's happening is something in new york city that needs to be um uh, that I, I really want everyone to have an understanding. There is a new bill that's been introduced called the Reproductive Health Act. And basically what the Reproductive Health Act is, is a bill that is supported by pro-abortionists. It is a bill that is, they want abortion to be considered a fundamental right. And basically what does that mean, abortion a fundamental right? Well, basically, it will continue to promote, without any regulations, abortion on demand. So any um, laws that would have certain restrictions on abortion, like, for example, parental notification. We don't have that in New York, but if we did have that, it would be thrown out. Um, Also, it would make abortion legal throughout all nine months of pregnancy. Currently, in New York State, It is only allowed in the 24 week of gestation, which is about six months. Um, And and uh, and it's in rare cases that does that happen, but it happens here in in New York City. So the Reproductive Health Act will actually allow up until birth for abortion to occur. And what that actually means, and will possibly even reintroduce partial birth abortion. And they are in a lot of people probably don't know what partial birth abortion is. Well, it was a very late term abortion that was done. And like I said, it was done within hours. It could have been done days before a child was actually born. And in 2003, the Partial Birth Abortion Banned Act was signed by George Bush. And it stated that any known physician who had performed this will be constitutionally upheld that they are killing a human fetus. Again, this bill, um, a lot of the pro-abortionists came back to the courts and said, no, we need this for women who are in danger. 
It was proven during the hearings that partial birth abortion does nothing to save a woman's life. Right. Okay. Um, well, that's good. That's, that's, I'm glad that you give us an update on what's going on in the pro-life movement. Gia, I appreciate it so much. We'll be back on in about, uh, in about four weeks with us again here at Faith Alive. And we want to thank you for joining us. Mike Salvatorelli here on Faith Alive on Radio Maria. Have a The previous program features Mike Salvatorelli. A program brought to you from the studio of Radio Maria in New York.